Today I will show you how to install Fedora Workstation Live ISO method, along with Windows 11. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our next videos. Let's go! First, we need to make a bootable USB drive with the Fedora Live ISO. Visit the Ventoe Tool website. Search for Ventoe on Google and open the Downloads page. Select the version for your computer and download it. On the official Ventoe website, you will find all the necessary information about the Ventoe tool. Of course, you can also use another program to create a USB stick, such as Rufus or Bellina Etcher. I use Ventoe because it's easy for me. When the download is complete, open the downloads and unzip the file. Insert your USB drive into your computer. Please note that any existing data on the drive will be erased, so make sure to back up important files. Open the unzipped folder and run the Ventoe installer. For Linux and macOS users, follow the instructions provided on the Ventoe website to create the bootable USB drive. Select the USB device on which you will install Ventoe. Then select Install. Something important. Once Ventoe is installed on the USB drive, you can configure it. Simply open the USB drive, and you'll find a Ventoe folder. Inside, there's a configuration file named Ventoe.json. You can customize this file to suit your preferences, such as by setting a default boot option. Now we will create the partition on which we will install Fedora. Right-click on the Start menu and Start Disk Manager. Right-click on Partition C and then select Shrink Volume. Enter in megabytes the space you want to allocate and press Shrink. Right-click on the empty space and select a new simple volume. Enter a name for the partition and then continue with the next. Confirm and finish. The partition is created. Close Disk Manager. Now we need the Fedora Workstation Live ISO. In Google search for Fedora Live. Open the Download Fedora Workstation page. Here, search for the Fedora Workstation Live ISO and download it. When the download is complete, open Downloads and copy the downloaded ISO file. Then go to File Explorer and open the Ventoy partition on your USB drive. Here you need to paste the Fedora Workstation Live ISO. Wait for the copying of the Fedora Workstation Live ISO to complete. We are done, and the installation of the Fedora workstation can begin. Restart your computer. After rebooting, enter boot menu. Check in your computer's manufacturer's documentation to see which button is responsible for starting the boot menu. Boot your USB flash drive. Select Fedora workstation live ISO in the Ventoe menu. After that press enter. Press enter again and the installer of Fedora workstation live is coming. Fedora is used by millions of users around the world, including developers, students, researchers, and enthusiasts.
Great! The installer is here. Here you will find many languages in which you can. Install Fedora Workstation Linux. Choose one of them and continue. In red what we need to do to start the installation of Fedora Workstation. Say where to be will be installed. Mark the disk on which you want to install Fedora, then confirm with done and click on reclaim space. Now find the Linux partition we made, mark it and then delete it. Make sure it's still marked and click reclaim space. Now we can start the installation. Click on begin installation. Now you have to wait for the installer to finish. Here are some interesting details about Fedora Linux. Fedora Linux was founded in 2003 by Bob Young and Mark Ewing, who named the project after Ewing's Red Cornell University lacrosse hat that he wore at a tech conference. The name Fedora is also an acronym for Flexible Extensible Digital Object Repository Architecture, which is a framework for storing and managing digital content. Fedora Linux is a community-driven Linux distribution sponsored by Red Hat, a leading provider of open-source software solutions for enterprise customers. Fedora Linux is the upstream source of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, meaning that features and innovations in Fedora Linux are later incorporated into Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Fedora Linux offers five editions for different purposes and users. Workstation, Server, IoT, Silverblue, and CoreOS. Fedora also has several spins and labs, which are alternative versions of Fedora Linux that use different desktop environments, to specific interests, such as gaming, security, design, and robotics. OK, installation is complete. Click Finish Installation, and your computer will restart. Fedora now loads for the first time. Welcome to Fedora. Now we need to create our user account. Just follow the instructions, and you'll be fine. Connect to the internet. You can connect to any of the accounts shown if you have one. Enter your full name and username. Enter your password. Note that if Fedora determines that your password is not secure enough, you will need to confirm twice. All done. You can take a tour of the GNOME desktop environment. Now you can use Fedora Linux. You have options in settings with which you can set up Fedora according to your requirements. Customize the Fedora however you see fit. To make sure you have the latest version of your operating system, you should update it. There are two ways. One is through the program installer application that is built into Fedora, and the other and preferred way is through the terminal, where you have to enter sudo dnf update, and after finishing that, sudo dnf upgrade. Now I want to show you how we can install GNOME extensions, which are very useful for any computer with the GNOME environment installed. The extension I will install is Dash to Doc. Search Google for Dash to Doc. 
you can install many extensions by pressing install on this website. Press install and dash to dock is installed on your system. Go to the Fedora dash and right click on it, then click dash to dock. Here is dash to dock setting. Dash to dock is a GNOME shell extension that allows you to customize the behavior and appearance of the dash in the GNOME desktop environment. Here are some common settings and customization options you can find in dash to dock Here you can set the position of the dock on the screen, bottom, left, right, or top. Adjust the size of the icons on the dock. Enable or disable icon zooming when you hover over an icon on the dock. Toggle the visibility of the show applications button on the dock. Choose whether or not to display the trash icon on the dock. Decide how running applications are indicated on the dock, e.g., dots, badges, or nothing. Customize which applications are shown as launchers on the dock. Adjust various behavior settings such as clicking action, middle click action, and more. Enable or disable window previews when hovering over an application icon. Choose when to show application labels, e.g., always, on hover, never. Adjust the transparency, background color, and other visual aspects of the dock. Enable IntelliHide to automatically hide the dock when a window is maximized. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share your thoughts or ask questions in the comments below. Until next time, enjoy the power of a dual boot system with Fedora and Windows. Have a nice day and take care.